-hmm. And let's connect it now to business. Now, explain this strategy and how those who are watching us at home can use it to actually grow their social media handles. Because that's why we are here. Okay. We have to learn about how we're going to do that. Go ahead. Great, great question. And I, I'll say it right from the, how, how I put that video out. Right yeah. from the beginning, from the caption, I put Oprah slayed this question, right? So now it's going to, it's the, it's, it invokes curiosity with people. What did she just slay? You know, so I forgot about a gift or something like that. I think I, I put that in the, the title because it was during Christmas time, right? Mm -hmm. So now I automatically, and then I, I they know it's going to come up to that point. My way of getting Oprah to talk on something like that, I know she has, you know, she's real, you know, um, a, a, a part of like that Christmas spirit where she does all these different things, right? But if we ever want to go viral, and this is, this is something that took me a while to learn, right? And I have like tons of videos that go viral, right? The one thing I know is that the same thing that happens in it, you have to get people in those comments, to go back and forth with each other. You want them to engage in some believe it, some don't. Some have their opinion. But when you get some people to, um, you know, and it could be a celebrity, it could be a topic, you know, you get them to uh, disagree with each other and they have different reasons why, then that's a win. Because what happens is the platform that you're on, whether it's- Can you take that, can you take that, take that again? How to go viral on social media. Start over from there. Okay, so this is how you, and it's a good question because this is how you go viral on social media. What you do is typically when you create that piece of content, you have to have in your mind, I want to make it where people who watch it, it could go either way. They Two people could have different opinions on it. And what happens in the, com in the comment section, they're going to say something. They're going to say, let's say with that video, people was like, I can't believe Oprah said a hundred million hundred dollars is not is nothing. And then you're going to have people on the other side who feel like a hundred dollars is a whole lot. I can't afford that. So you get them to have that conversation. And then what happens is now the algorithm sees those comments going back and forth. It triggers the algorithm to say, hey, we 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 we, we want to keep these people on this platform, and we we're going to start rewarding this piece of video to other people, so they start pushing it out to more people. And then if it's then it's a good video, more people are going to do the same, and then they're going to argue in the comment section. And all that does it allows the algorithm to see this video must be really good. I'm going to start pushing it this way. I'm going to start pushing it overseas. I'm going to start pushing it to people who don't even know Oprah, but they know about a topic. I'm going to push it to people who are considering buying Christmas gifts. So it starts going all over, and that's what starts creating the viral. And then people pick up on it now, and it gets seen, and then you understand, like, it's either from the conversation you invoke a, a, a question that could go either way. And that's why, like, the type of, type of people I, like, really like to do videos on, I like to do it where it can be, you know, it, it can be not just a controversial topic, but it can be not a, a no-brainer question where it's, it's a 90% of the people like you going in one direction. You want it 50, 50, 50, 40, I mean, 60, 40 in between those lines, and then you have then you have a winner, winner. And how sometimes how I find that out, I test things out on different platforms and see what other people engage in first with questions. And that's what I'm going to use threads for. Aha. Uh -huh. Guys, you heard that from the master himself. He's not just talking the theory. This man has done it. Is that the same thing as trolling? What, are, what has trolling got to do with how to go viral on social media? Talk about Tro that a little bit. Yeah, trolling. trolling. Yeah. Because you're a master, right? You're yeah. A master of trolling. Yeah. Trolling, tro trolling as well is like you can disagree and see somebody. Like if I do an interview and I troll somebody in the sense of like, let's just say Taylor Swift, and I'm like, your concerts stop selling out all of a sudden. Why? You know, so I'm really going negative, but you know, and I, I'm more, I, I'm more always wanted to be a win-win for um, whoever I have as a, as a, as a, you know, not just the audience, but the personality. So a lot of times when I have those high, you know, high profile people, I don't go negative because I know I'm going to see them again and I'm going to want to interview from them again. But if they start in the conversation, start shutting me down or so then I can go straight in. 
you know, and it's understanding like how do how how can I be just as witty of them? Like people like Alec Baldwin, you know, he'll change up on you, you know. So I gotta meet that I, and be prepared for what they say. And that's where coming, that's where listening, when you're doing like interviews or conversations like that, you understand what someone's saying instead of already having in your mind what you're gonna ask or answer. So you know, you you let you let the flow go with it as well. Interesting. Well, uh, why, why don't we talk about the practical and tell me the mindset behind this because you are a known troller and you do a great job about it. Okay, what about this uh, this incident uh, about um, which one do I throw at you now? Okay, because I got you. All right, I got. What about this one? Okay, the, when you start Hillary Clinton about the ten dollar bill issue. Okay, what was the what was the strategy? What was the thinking behind that? You know. I, I read something about you where you are asking about uh, whether the face of Hillary Clinton should be. This is a lot a while back. I'm not even sure if you still remember yeah. that. Okay, where you are asking whether the face of Hillary should be on the ten dollar bill, and the thing went viral because now all of a sudden is what everybody is talking about. Is that what you are talking about? See, that, but see, that's the thing where you're going to have people who love Hillary Clinton, and then you get a lot of people who hate Hillary Clinton. So when I can ask her a question and let her answer it, you know, no matter what she says at that point, at that point, you know, it, it's like, you know, because I'm asking her about like, you know, it was supposed to be, you know, a black, a black person supposed to come on and be on a dollar bill. Maya Angelou. Maya Angelou. Maya Angelou, yes. Right, and all these different people. So now I'm asking her take on it. And what happens now, I know whatever she says is gold for the Internet because. Uh. <laughs> Like her, you know, and there's people that you know that love her, and and then you're gonna get in the, you know, the, you know, uh, the name recognition, and this person shouldn't isn't that good. So you know, that's all you want. You and then it's something that nobody is talking about, especially when you get somebody to speak on an issue that's happening because it was just happening, and I was able to really get her at a point where her comment is gonna make news. So I, I look at it from two perspectives. I look at it as solid news that can go traditional news, and then it can go social media news. So that's where you marriage both of them, and it, it, you know it's a win-win situation. Hundred uh, percent. Basically, asking polarizing question. You really don't care whatever yeah. answer they give. You know you win. Whatever answer they give, you yeah. win. Yeah. <laughs> it's like your question right here, Hillary. Do you think Maya Angelou should be considered? For the ten dollar bill, whatever she says is going to be talk of the town, both sides. I love that, guys. I think that's a very big tip. Right sometimes there. you have to put, you have to phrase questions where they have to give you an answer in a way where, like, you know, because you don't, a person's not going to stay silent on that because you have to, you know, because it looks like okay, I don't want to, you know, be into that. But if they, you know, they talk and then it means something, and then later on it gets, you know, it gets a lot of attention.